because we're older than America. We are not Native Americans. We are Dakota. We are Lakota. We are Dene. No cuts. So we don't acknowledge that American flag. If we do bring it out, it's going upside down. So this flag, this uh, Eagle Staff, is a warrior instrument. The warriors used to carry this. It also represented the coup, the coup stick. Our warriors counted coup on the enemy. And when they counted coup, they didn't kill their enemy, but they hu humiliated their enemy by just touching them. So that's what we're going to do tonight with the cops. We're going to count coup on the police because we're nonviolent and we're peaceful. And we're prayerful. And we're prayerful. So we're gonna we're gonna start the round dance and everybody go in a circle. George, can we do one more song here? Because we're still um, figuring out the path. Okay. For safety. Like I need three four minutes. Okay. Whatever you do, guys, don't follow Darth Vader down the dark path, okay? We're going to stay in the light. He just walked by right now. He's trying to recruit you all. Don't follow that guy. Follow the staff. Or, or if Master Yoda's with us, we'll, 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 we'll hang with him. Oh.
So once again, relatives, thank you. Thank you for being here on this this night here. We're sending a shout out to the and prayers to our relatives over at Standing Rock. They we love you. Out. They they have moved in and taken uh, made some arrests. Uh, I'm not sure if the whole camp has been cleared yet. I know there's uh, people that are still there holding the ground there. They, they refuse to leave. And we know that the actions of the Morton County Sheriffs and the Governor and any other law enforcement agency, their acts are, are immoral, unconstitutional, and they're breaking treaties. And we stand ground, we stand our ground here to acknowledge that injustice that is going on right now. Am I right? Yeah. We're here to denounce that injustice. If the water protectors want to be there, they should remain there. We should all be able to go there and participate in, in ceremony and prayer there. And it's not, the government has no right to kick out those people, to kick out our relatives there. And there's questions of those officials that are there, even within the tribe. But we're here just to speak about our solidarity with those water protectors. So it's now time to move and follow the, follow the flags, follow the drum. And here we go. We stand with Standing Rock. Who Standing Rock? Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock. Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock. Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock. Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock. Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock. Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock. Who stands with Standing Rock? We stand with Standing Rock.
Johnny.
Stand up, fight back! 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 Stand up, fight back!
soil. Keep it in the soil. Keep it in the soil. Our street. Our street. Our street. Our street. Keep it in the soil. Keep it in the soil. Take 
Congress, the people are depending on you. The protectors are depending on you. They need our prayers. They need our prayers. They need our actions. So thank you, family. Aho, me talk
when we go back to the southern camp. What we saw today, they raided that camp too. And they continue to arrest people. They've arrested over 700 people protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline. And that's why we are here. We are standing in solidarity with the water protectors, the people who have put everything on the line. Everything. The people who have left their jobs and their families. Everything they know to go to North Dakota and fight for what is right. Not even what is right. It's not our right to protest. It's our duty. It's our duty to protect the I know that um, when we were getting into the streets, some of you have not opposed in any way this system. And we, when we bring that drum out here, the drum is the power. It is not the police. And I know sometimes you get afraid out there, but allow that drum to lead you. Allow that drum and that song to lead you. Don't be afraid. If you see me or Kuno or us walking out there, don't be afraid. We've done this a few times. This is not our first rodeo. We've been around these protests for a while. We've dealt with this. We are now under this building, the CNN building. CNN has been called by Trump fake news. Now, I normally don't agree with some bigoted white man who calls himself the president of the United States. But what I do agree with is that these multimedia corporations slant the story, and they should have been out there today at Standing Rock. And what you hear and what you don't hear is what the America does, is they just sit there quietly and sit on their couch and not stand up for the rights of the people. You decided to come out tonight. You decided, no matter how big or small this group was, you decided to come. Because you felt that the right thing to do was to pray and to hear the song and to hear the people. You came today. This building here will come down. It will come down. We are older than America. We are older than this story that they tell. We are the true narrative of the Americas. We are the true narrative and the true people of this history. We are the ones who write the history. It is not them. It is not them who write our stories. It is us. And despite how fearful you may have, whatever fears you have, get rid of them. Because you can't be afraid. There was a young boy up here. He was marching with us. Don't show him your fear. You're only afraid because you're afraid to go to jail. People have gone to jail for 500 years. And long after the prisoners, long after the guards of the prison have left, you still remain in prison. You can't be in prison constantly. You can't imprison yourself. There's a key and you have it. There's a key that you have. It's right there in your hands. It's right there in your heart. It's right there in your mind. Yes. Some of you remain a prisoner. You remain a prisoner to this media. You remain a prisoner to these oil corporations. You remain a prisoner. And like these young men and women that are out here, don't guide them down that path. And if you're afraid, take that staff. Stand behind that staff. Walk behind that drum. And you'll feel the power in that. We see today that somebody came along with an eviction notice. We say to that eviction notice, that's bullshit. That's right. That is not an eviction notice. They have no deed to the property. They have no right to the land. They have
have no paper to the land. Our people don't believe in that. You ask all these Americans, who gave you the deed to that land? And I'll tell you, not one indigenous person did. They did not give up that fight. From the East Coast to the West Coast, our people have fought every inch of this land. From Tierra del Fuego to Chickaloon, Alaska, we have fought. We have fought and we continue to fight. Don't be discouraged, relatives. Don't be afraid. Stand with us. Stand with Standing Rock. It is not over. There are other places you can go and there are other places you can be. Today I spoke with Chase and we honored, I wanted to honor him to give us that voice and to call this. And I wanted to call Mikey up here. Is Mikey here? The one who helped organize this. I know he called me today and we were a little concerned. But today we wanted to share our strength with him. I told him, Kuno and I, that the drum would come out, that we will bring the drum, because the drum is what leads us. These are the songs that our ancestors have sung. Whether you know Lakota, whether you know Otam, or whatever language you speak, these are the songs that our ancestors have taught us, and they must be sung. And to those that are coming and living here in Los Angeles, this is Tongva territory. This is not your territory. You are a settler here. You are a settler, even me. And I gotta honor this space. I gotta honor that the Tongva people are still here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mike here. Mike. Just like you. Uh, I got, I got my, I just, yeah, talk about losing weight. So we've been marching. I think I lost about seven pounds. It's a good thing. My heart's in a good, in a good place right now too. You know, CNN should be really ashamed of themselves because um, it wasn't until the people were getting hurt that they showed up. And that stupid adage, that stupid saying of, if it bleeds, it leads. We have to start, start changing the narrative and being our own media as we are with social media the social media has a responsibility and i'm asking that you vet you really really take a look at what you put out there and you share and i've made my mistakes too some of it's really funny but we're not going to be here all night for that story anyways cnn we brought the drum out before um from san bernardino and the drum um by the third time we've been, been here for, as Idle No More Los Angeles, which is now Idle No More, Idle no More SoCal, the security guard came out and says, uh, Lydia, Gray, uh, how long is this going to take? And we said, however long it takes. You know, it's a prayer. And we, he basically shared with us that the, the business ceased all the way up to the penthouse as long as we were drumming because the drum carried all the way up. Yes. And so yeah. that was a good day right so with that we've been in front of cnn now five years and when they finally made it out to standing rock it was like now you see us oh now you see us because unfortunately people were getting hurt so we have to change that narrative and i know that the stories will continue the good the bad and the ugly within the humanity that galvanized but the spirits that survived and were resilient because you have to really ask yourself how much military, uh, war, how much arsenal did they have to use to break up the prayer but didn't kill our spirit? Right. Woo! How much and how often did they have to do that? And that's what happens here on the streets. You know, we have a federal right to pray anywhere, anytime. And I think that we're going to have to go back to carrying that to remind the people here. Because L.A. doesn't want to go down like that. We have not had any arrests. We have not had anyone get hurt. Including, mostly importantly, the women, the elders, and the children. And I want to thank the mothers for bringing their children here today. Because they probably, they probably learned more tonight than they did in a whole week of school at LAUSD. And I worked there. So with CNN, I want you guys to all call them and tell them that 
we don't need them. We're not. We're, this is not even an ask. It's a thank you for ignoring us because we're going to take our stories in our own hands. Yes. Seriously, call them and and message them and tell them and and ABC all of them and say, you know what? You don't show up unless someone's bleeding and some, unless someone's hurt or arrested. And we're done with that narrative because it's not healthy. It's not healthy for anyone. And this is our community. This is our city. Right. So we're going to go ahead and share that share that narrative tonight. Would you actually? Share this on the social media. What's the hashtag we're using tonight? Aside from no dapple. Anyone? Anyone? Hashtag march and rally. Hashtag aim SoCal. Hashtag uh, red, red earth defense. Um, <laughs> Black snake killers, yeah. And, uh, and, and make, sure, make sure that you go to these um, 90 different organizations that support you. Because we're not going to be calling the White House in another, about another month when Medi-Cal's gone, or Medicaid or Medicare. So I want to make sure that you guys stay on t in touch with the social media, on internet, on the on the Instagram and Twitter. Because Red Earth Defense is a new organization, and they're, we're working. Uh, AIM SoCal is working diligently, side by side, at every step, to make sure that the narrative is shared and it's correct and it's done in a good way. And I thank you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, um, is, is there anybody else who wants to speak who hasn't spoken? Is there any announcements? Actually, I want to introduce our, uh, our uh, youngest AIM members here, because we have to pass on our traditions here. Woo! Everybody, give, up, give it up for the Lopez family. They're having their children study what is AIM and what is AIM all, is all about. You guys want to say a few words? You want to say something, Mom, or kids? Yes. All right, well, the one thing I do want to say is welcome to the people who worship nothing. Welcome to the people who worship some black junk in the ground. People who worship green pieces of paper. People who worship something that has absolutely no meaning to what humans are. We fight against nihilist. We fight against the men who worship nothing. And that is what we're here for. Not for just Trump, not just for Obama, not just for any of these bastards, but for the past 500 goddamn years of this bullshit! So, out of the mouths of babes. Someone raised you, right? Alright. Um, anybody else? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, 20. Come on up. You want me to take care of your. Uh, take care of your. Thank you. It's going to be a good meeting, but this is my nephew. Yes, and the spirit, in the in the spirit, in the heart that he uh, he shares when we see each other, it's just always, it's just such a good day. And I thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Water is life. 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 I want to thank y'all for coming down being part of this, you know, we're part of history. We're sending a message to our relatives at the camps that they're not alone, that we're here together in solidarity. I spent almost five months at the camp, you know? We went through a lot. We had to make our own media teams. We had to tell the story because there's a media blackout. If you see that, nobody was going to tell our story. And if we didn't tell our story, we would be forgotten. So we started doing what we can. We started creating teams. We started using live feeds, the phones that you're using. Those are our weapons. You are the media. We are the power. We are the power. We gotta forget that. It's not over. We are all black snake killers. The water protects us. The water is life. And that's what connects us. So let, us, let our relatives know everywhere. Share. Share the videos out there. Those who are watching, share them. Because the world needs to know that this is not over. It's been more than 500 years. And we will continue. Because it's in us. We were made of it. It's in our blood. We are that. We are the answers to that. To those prayers. And let us continue. Let us continue to help each other. Work with each other. Come together. Let go of ego and pride. Because we are power like that. That frightens the government. 
that frightens Bethel, that frightens Martin County, that frightens the police department, that frightens the oppressor. We're going to have to outthink this. We're going to have to outthink this and really work together. Because when it comes down to it, it's intelligence. When it comes down to it, it's the way we think. We have to change the way we think. Because they don't want us to think. They want us to continue to believe everything they tell us. And we have to outthink this. Because it's not over. We need to send a message to our relatives. Standing Rock. All you relatives of Standing Rock, we're still here. You're not alone. We got you in prayer. We are everywhere. Standing Rock is everywhere. So how about that hashtag? Standing Rock, we're here for you. Standing Rock, we love you. It could be um, so much, right? We're still here. Um, I want to ask, um, do you want to say a few words? Yes. Because you get out from behind the camera. Yeah, I know you got something to say. I know you got some love. I do. And you're Joe Day! Water is life! Water is life! Water is sacred! Water is sacred! Oh. You know, I, I was down for the count for a couple weeks and this is the first day back. Yeah. The city of angels! You know, they can say whatever they want about Los Angeles, but I love everybody here. Yes, thank you for showing up today. Thank you for. Um, for standing up for, for the sacred. Thank you for standing up for love. And, you know, anything is possible. Um, the other guy was just talking about, um, about uh, watching the different live feeds. Um, you know, watch digital smoke signals. Watch the, um, the women's indigenous media. Uh, you know, there's so many things out there. We, you know, we were talking about that, you know, a lot of people, it's so crazy because sometimes we get in our own little bubble that we think everybody knows about Standing Rock. But unfortunately, standing in front of the mainstream media, you know, corporate right here is, you know, unfortunately, not a lot of people do know. Or if they know, they think that we're the bad guys. Well, I'm here to tell you, we're the good guys. You know, we're, we're here because we, we stand, we're standing for love. We're standing for something that's bigger than us. We're standing not only for our children, but our children's children, and our children's children's children. And, and that there... Is, is, is you can't even put a price tag on it. So I just wanted to tell you that I'm so glad to be back here. I'm so glad to be standing here in front of all of you. Um, my big thing is that I, I'm a big love guy. I'm a big hug guy. Free hugs, free love, free always. You know, and I do believe that love is going to win in the end. So I believe that love will win. 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 Free hugs. Right here. All right, George. Where are you, George? Brother, George. Jorge. Come on up. Get to close this up with a prayer, please. <laughs> discernment um, I wish everyone discernment because it's one thing to be a critical thinker or independent thinker it's another to have discernment and when someone isn't being, having discernment gift them that, talk about it because it's a powerful word and we're losing it every time something branded or something that's trendy comes into our life break that path fuck trending and branding we don't need that we're original we're original as every breath we draw it's unique and special with every breath every heartbeat and every decision you make should be always with good intention for other people and make sure that you take care of yourself first but don't forget about the others good night thank you thank you I think we uh, started with a prayer, so we're going to end with a prayer, and we always have to remember that the, the prayer, the Spirit is going to lead us. Uh, we want to remember the people who paved the way for us to be here, the American Indian Movement in the 1970s, Russell Means, Dennis Banks. Dennis Banks is uh, on the longest walk as we speak, uh, talking about domestic violence and drug abuse. 
So the water protector set uh, an example about sobriety. No alcohol, no drugs, no marijuana. There was none of that allowed there. And if you were caught with that, you were asked to leave. So if you organize, don't organize fundraisers at bars or where there's drinking. Honor the struggle, honor the spirit of sobriety. Myself, I'm clean and sober, and I work at a treatment program for men, native men, and I, and I try to set an example for men to be sober. That they used to say the only good Indian is a dead Indian, but today we say the only good Indian is a sober Indian. <laughs> that, that, that is the Wasichu medicine. We have our own medicine. Our medicine is the drum. Our medicine is the ceremony, the language, the song. So we have to reclaim that. And we have to decolonize. We have to start, like my Auntie Lydia said, to be critical thinkers. And I know all of you guys are doing that because you're here and you are woke. You understand what is real. You understand what is real and what is an illusion. So to be coherent, to pray about that, to be a coherent person. And I want to give all of you an assignment to go home to, because like we say, it's more than just rallying and marching, but we have to start uh, uh, doing things. And one of the things that we can do to help the protectors and to kill the black snake is to starve the black snake. So all of these banks that are funding the pipeline, Wells Fargo, Citibank, Chase, U.S. Bank, um, uh, what am I missing? Bank of America. How many of you guys have uh, accounts there? Raise your hand. Please, there's no shame or there's no guilt. Let's be real. How many of you guys have accounts there? So I ask that you go home and make do the homework and make that transition to a credit union and take your money out of the banks. And uh, let's give it up for Seattle. They took $3 billion out. Let's give it up for Davis, California. $124 million. And let's give it up for Santa Monica. We were there last week and we spoke to the city council and they they voted unanimously to make a transition to divest from Wells Fargo. <laughs> Me and Lydia and a handful of uh, warriors, we were there for five hours. We waited from 6.30 to midnight to, to finally to be able to address the city council. And we shared with them why it's important to divest. So our next target is uh, Los Angeles, the city of Los Angeles, uh, Mayor Garcetti, to, uh, to start to make that transition to divest. So that's kind of what uh, we, have to, uh, we have to start doing is spreading that word, educating. Go home to your city and do the homework, do the research, and see if your city banks with one of those banks. And if they do, start to write letters, start to call, start to email, start to organize your city to, to uh, demand that they stop funding indigenous genocide. So if you can do that for me, and those of you who have accounts there, please make that transition. Can I get a commitment from you who raised your hand that have bank accounts? Yes. Yes. Let's give them a round of applause. Yes. So make that commitment. That's how we're, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, close with a prayer song, and uh, I want to give a shout out to my brother uh, Mike. We go where's where's we go at? Mike. Rebecca. Mike, Rebecca, um, who was on the front lines, who spent time on the front lines, um, who, who brought us together tonight. So he called me today and said he needed some help. He wanted to bring the drum, he wanted to bring the song. So uh, we brought our drum and we brought our songs and we have to support each other. We can't have division. Even though we might disagree with tactics, we might disagree and have different opinions, we have to remember we're family. And we have to try to support each other. And um, despite all of our difference of opinions, we have to stand strong and together. So I thank you for, for, for bringing us together and, and um, your travels, wherever you're going. Uh, the grandfathers, uh, the ancestors be with you and continue uh, doing your work. I know you work with uh, Natani Beans, Russell Beans' son, all of those good warriors who are holding it down. Woo!
I want to remember them and honor them with this song. We're going to sing an honor song. And all of you who've been to the front lines, who've been to Standing Rock, I want you to come up here because we're going to honor you. Those of you who've been to Standing Rock, we're going to sing this song for you. And thank you for your sacrifice. I know it takes a lot to travel, to take time off of work. And uh, you guys have been there, but we also want to honor the, the water protectors who are there. Under siege, they're under attack, and they need our help, they need our prayers. So this song is to honor all of the water protectors, all of the warriors who are who are holding it down for us. So, Abu, we talk to us.
coming out and this is this is organic this is an organic get together this is the LA indigenous community getting together this was this started with a graphic that said honor the protectors and we sent a text and it said we need a drum and then we called aim and we see we need aim presence here and that was it and the people brought it together the people came together because the people wanted to come together let it take courage and we did we came and we marched and we honored the protectors we honored the water today that's right and this Woo! was the organic movement we came together based off a text message and that's all it takes honestly it takes a wi-fi connection <laughs> <laughs> but i love all of you guys and I, I thank you for coming out i want you to know that we had we had ceremony and the, the spirits they're happy they're happy to see that we're still fighting they're happy to see when we still have this warrior mentality. The women and the men. The women are standing up. You go to Standing Rock and those women are leading that fight out there. There's more women than there are men. And they're, they're, the women are not leaving. The women will not leave. So it's good to, it's good to see. It's good to see that we still hold this warrior spirit. We hold this warrior spirit and it will never ever be broken. Ever. This fight is going to continue. This fight will never die. This fight is going from Mexico to Canada and international. We're going to unify the world. Us as indigenous people will unify the world. And I promise, I promise that we will unify the world. Aho! Gracias! Thank <laughs> you. 